I love that should I need to or want to, you know, I, I can say to you, sir, you know, sir, I, I love you more than words can wield the matter. Dearer than eyesight, space or liberty, beyond what can be valued, rich or rare, no less than life, with grace, health, beauty, honour, <laughs> as much as child e'er loved or father found, a breath that makes a love that makes breath poor and speech unable, beyond all manner of so much, I love you. <laughs> yeah, words that I have because somebody wrote them and left them for me to find. You know? I mean, yes, in the play, obviously, uh, she is not necessarily telling the truth. She, uh, Reagan, Goneril, Goneril, Reagan, two ugly sisters in King Lear. Don't necessarily always know which is which because they're always together. I get confused. But those words are there for me. I can have them. They can make me a different shape. I can give them to somebody else. And their shape can change. And I love that. It can be a very beautiful thing, a powerful thing, a dangerous thing, but also a very, very beautiful thing. I love it. And the process of working with words, it's sort of like a kind of love. It's like being in love. Yeah, again, Shakespeare says, you know, and I, I, um, in, in, in England, we're, we're not allowed necessarily to uh, talk about Shakespeare because, you know, Shakespeare is a dead white male. But obviously, you know, his, his words are not white and his words are not male and his words are not dead. And he, he, he tells us that, that, that a lover's eye, you know, can gaze an eagle blind. A lover's ear can hear the lowest sound when the suspicious head of theft is stopped. And love's feeling is more soft and sensible than are the tender horns of cockled snails. It's a beautiful way to be. To be so wide-eyed, so open-mouthed, so sensitive to the one life that we have. And we can have that. I get to have that. I mean, I couldn't be like that all the time, obviously. I would get nosebleeds when I went to the shops. But to the best of my ability, I can be like that occasionally. And, and when I first read those words, when I first heard those words performed, I knew I want that. And I have that. And the only way that it could disappear from me would be if somebody stole my education or stole my time or stole my quality of life and made it hurt when I woke. Because all of this makes you wake, makes you live, makes you notice which is why I do this, you know, I've now been all over the world saying this when actually I'm supposed to be a typist, I'm supposed to sit in a study and not bother anybody else and not be seen, I should just write. But I do this because I think it's important, I think it's a beautiful and important thing to talk about words. And I think it's beautiful and important to say, for example, not to let anybody give you toothache. Unless you need it. And not to let anybody steal your delight. Not even yourself. Because the words are all there for you for whatever you need to use them for. You know, lyrics for songs on your iPods and jokes and contracts and notes and greetings cards and silly postcards and t-shirts and poems and novels and short stories and news and jokes and swearing. Very important words, swear words, very good. In all of this time I have not sworn but I have the capacity to swear. Strong words. But there is not a word we have that's weak. And every single one of them is, is for nothing 
but our use. Without us, they fade. Without them, we are nameless. We are silence. We end up being the lies and blurs and slogans of other people's minds. When there shouldn't be a beauty we can't sing, and there shouldn't be a love we can't declare, or truth, hope, freedom that we can't name and then start to make with words. They can be the yes and no of everything. As close as we get to eternity, in a breath, in a mark. And if you've ever been alone, if you've ever been confined, if you've ever been frightened like a child, they will hide you. They will keep safe your joys. And they will lift you up to the love of your life and this world and any other world you feel you have to make. They will keep you and if you let them, wherever you have to go, they will let you shine.